when you first open Motion up, you're going to get this project browser. For what we want to be doing today, you're going to select the Motion Project. So you can double click on Motion Project or select it and then hit Open. Once you do that, you'll get this project window that opens up. So the upper right corner is the canvas. This is where we're going to be building the project. In this middle section, we have layers, which is very similar to how we've worked with layers in Photoshop. We have a timeline on the bottom. And then over on the left, we have the file browser, the library, and the inspector. So we're going to start with this bar in the middle and go to the, this is your toolbar. So we're going to, so we're going to go to the T, which is the text tool. So grab the text tool, click somewhere in the canvas, and type out your name. We're going to add in a shape. So on the toolbar, near the text tool, there is a rectangular tool. If you press and hold down on that, you will get an option to change to a circle or a line. So you can choose which shape that you want. And go back up to the canvas and click and drag to draw your shape. You want to use your HUD to customize the color and different options with each object that you have in your project. If you don't have your HUD up and available, you can find it from the window menu and show HUD. in your canvas, we're going to add some behaviors to them to animate them. So we need to go over to the left side of the screen and we're going to go to the library. Under the library we're going to choose behaviors and we'll first go into the text animation. Grab any of these text behaviors that you want and drag it up and put it right on top of your name in the layer section in the middle to apply that behavior to your name. You can then hit the play button to view the effect that you now have applied to your name. And then to add a behavior to our shape, we're going to go into the basic motion folder. Again, choose any of the behaviors that you would like drag it up. You can place it right on the object in the canvas or again on the object in the layers. But this time when I hit the play button, the rectangle is not moving at all. This is because we need to go into the inspector and we're going to go under the behavior section in the inspector and we need to change the rate of speed that the rectangle is spinning. And now you can see we have it spinning. In the HUD, we can change our three-dimensional spin as well.
And if you want the object to show behind your name in the layers, you need to make sure that your name is at the top of the list. Now that we have some objects and we have some behaviors on them, we're going to add some filters. So going back into the library, we're going to go into the filters section and you can pick whichever category you want. I'm going to go into the glow category and kind of scroll through, find something that you like. I'm going to grab the outer glow and drag it up and put it right on top of my name. I can use my HUD to adjust the settings of it. And now I have a nice glow around my name. I'm going to add something to the rectangle as well. You can kind of scroll through the categories until you find something that you like. I'm going to grab this bad TV, try to get right on top of my rectangle. So now when I play this, I have some filters on my objects. So let's go back into the library and this is the funnest part of motion. The first thing I want to show you is the particle emitters. So we're in the library in the folder for particle emitters and you can scroll through these folders and you can see that motion already has a lot of objects already created for you that you can choose from. So I'm going to grab this little afterburner, drag it up, put it right into my layers section. Then I can move it around to where I want it to be. I can stretch it out, have it cover my whole name. I need to actually drag my name back up to the top of the layer so my name pops up again. And now when we play this, I have this nice afterburner glowing behind my name. So there's lots and lots of particle emitters that you can choose from. The other area I want you to go into is the content folder. So the content folder you can scroll through and you can see that there's some actual real objects in here. So here's some ants. Here's an ant colony. I'm going to grab this ant colony and I'm going to put them in my project on my canvas. And now you can see Soon there should be some ants that start, there they are, marching across my screen. So that was in the library under the content folder. Yep. Yep. 